Good evening, folks. The topic is the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift, the weakening of Earth's protective interface with energy from space. One of the key indicators we've identified for years is the great ozone losses we're going to be taking as part of the process. Ozone is usually in a delicate balance, with UV light from the sun helping to make ozone and solar particles largely destroying it. But we've entered a period now where more particles from the sun are entering the system due to the weakening magnetic field, and that's disrupting the balance. Much of the ozone loss so far has been blamed on pollution, but that pollution has been decreasing and yet the ozone losses keep rising. At the poles and at the tropics, despite what some hardcore deniers will say, are there, and all tied to something a bit more than pollution, especially now as those levels hit new lows and we yet see the ozone holes getting worse and worse. This is, in fact, now an undeniable sign of Earth's weakening magnetic field. So when we see these recent articles about those solar particles which cause the northern lights, the aurora, destroying ozone, it should immediately remind you of the underlying and under-the-radar explanation for the ozone losses at our planet. This is going to continue, and it's going to be a major problem in the near-term future. We'll go back to two of the best papers of the last decade, this one from Harvard, showing how major solar events destroy ozone and how the biggest ones on record actually created multi-degree spikes in temperature in just hours, dwarfing modern global warming in a fraction of a fraction of the time. This bolsters the mechanism of action at the molecular level. Then there was this, in the world's number one geophysics journal, showing how magnetic excursions like the one we're entering now take out species every time. They are the major cyclical hit to the biology of Earth, and the primary mode of action is loss of ozone due to increased particle forcing from the sun, which not only enhances surface radiation, but changes the climate. It is these two concepts that are criminally hidden by omission from the larger public awareness, especially because that is our near-term future. Right now, Earth has lost about a fifth of the strength of the magnetic field, and that's not only going to continue, but it's going to continue to accelerate. We saw a fantastic acceleration earlier this century as we went from losing 5% of the magnetic field per century to 5% per decade, and the maximum acceleration will take us to a hundred times faster loss than we have now. When the next acceleration occurs, we'll have just months to maybe even weeks before the major rapid flip of the field. Folks, this is not just a climate topic, although this is a huge underestimated aspect of climate change, but this is an existential topic. While it is true, in the worst of these cyclical events, which happen about every 12,000 years, the worst one of the last 100,000 years didn't even take out 4% of the species on Earth. There was a major biosphere hit to every species, with some species maybe only losing 10 to 25%, but others losing up to 80, 90%, and of course, many species, especially the large fauna, did go extinct. This is not only the topic of our books, the topic of our playlist, it's topic of most of our one-on-one -on -one calls that you guys are having with me. It is the single most important thing that is happening to the earth right now. It does play across catastrophism and climate. You can learn more about that with the links below the video to those books, playlists, if you want one of those one-on-one -on -one calls, but just this is very simply, and we saw this with these recent articles about the aurora blasting a hole in the ozone. Maybe the mainstream is going to start to not be able to ignore this so much anymore, and that's a good thing because, as I've mentioned, and I will say it again, this is the number one most important thing that is happening to this planet right now, at least from a natural perspective. If uh, countries start firing nukes at one another, that may take a little bit of precedent. But even still, if they do that, it's not going to stop this other thing that's happening. And it's good to get your mind wrapped around it. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.